Castworks Part 8. Here we have the second ever wire shoulder piece situation I've ever made. I made it, I think, a week after losing this competition miserably. For details, see the Artist Life Part 2. I do believe Bushwig was the following weekend, and I made this for that. I wasn't performing in it, I just wanted to roam the venue looking cool. So I made this the day of Bushwig, the afternoon into the evening of, I should say. I'm fairly certain that I bent all of the pieces with my hands, no tools involved. And then I used duct tape to lock everything in place up here in the back, on the waist, on the neck. That's right, all of these spirals are sandwiched between pieces of duct tape. And the little headpiece here was actually repurposed from this bird cage I had made for my first look of the Le Queen competition. The cage was either falling apart or I just decided that I was never going to use it again. So I chopped off the top piece and turned it into this, which once looked a lot better than it does currently. So I finished this very, very late. I ended up having to run to a store to get red spray paint because I decided as I was making it that I wanted it to be red. So, you know, got to Bushwig like in the middle of the night, had a great, great time, got my picture taken. And then if I'm not mistaken, the very next night was the first night of the new season of Look Queen post competition that I did terribly in. And I wore this to Look Queen again, not to perform, although I did have a number ready, but just to sort of show up immediately after having had a horrible experience in the finale of the competition. This is my way of of bouncing back strong, attempting to show all of the people um, involved in the competition and myself that I may have fallen down, but I got back up. Totally a complicated pride thing, but what can I say? I don't like to lose. And better for my loss to manifest itself as a new costume than as, you know, depression. So anyway, I went to Look Queen. Nina Bonina Brown was there that night. Her hair got caught in my shoulder piece and she ended up posting a photo of the two of us together to her Instagram account. And this was my first experience of my Instagram blowing up by my standards. So that is the story behind this costume. It was a very rewarding creation and a very meaningful one as well. You might call this my Phoenix costume. From the ashes of the Look Queen competition rose that which propelled me into the next stage of my journey. Oh, and of course, this lights up. And that has been today's past work. Until next time.